the best days you know, in my life are the days when I'm writing. And I manage to write about five days out of every seven. And I wake up at quarter to six without fail. Even if it's a day where I don't have to get up, I'm up at quarter to six. And I go downstairs and I have that first brilliant, beautiful cup of coffee in the day, which really wakes me up. And I'm in my pajamas, I sit on a sofa and I start tapping away. And before I know it, three hours have gone by and the kids will probably need getting up for school and you know, my husband might need a shower and breakfast needs making and shirts ironing. And we all pitch in and do whatever gets needed to, be get, to get everyone out the door in the mornings. Um, and then once they've all left, that's my blissful me time. And I open the window, I always have a massive breeze coming in, so I sometimes have to get under a duvet or something. I look like I'm some kind of, sort of demented bag lady. I'm layered up with the windows open, writing in the dark. I love it. Um, I take to my writing cave. And I can write very happily for nine, ten hours. And if I didn't have to stop to go to the loo or get groceries or anything like that, I think I'd write for longer. Um, but when I'm not writing, I'm thinking about writing. And before I start a new book or a new story, I go through a thinking process. Um, where I'll sit, literally, in silence, playing the book through in my brain, thinking, what would she look like? What would she say? What would be funny? Where would they go? Um, what would the twist be? And I sort of play it through in my head until I've got it set, and then I start writing. So by the time I actually tap the first letter on the keyboard, I already, I already know, you know what they're going to say and how it's going to work. I have the whole book in my head. I think my writing style is kind of like um, talking to a mate. It's not over intellectual or super complicated. I'm more interested in writing a story that stops you from wanting to turn the bedside lamp off at night, even if the alarm's set very early because you just need to know what happens next. I certainly, when I read a book, want to be whisked away. Uh, I want to escape into a good story. And a little secret, I always send my, my heroines abroad. I don't know if you've noticed, but when I'm writing every single book, they either go to Barcelona or they go to Afghanistan or they go to St Lucia, but they always travel because I think my readers deserve a little holiday.